Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Reading Test for third graders. Our concept is drawing conclusions. This is part one. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The link is in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and smash that like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about hype, math, and reading. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's talk about drawing conclusions. A conclusion is making a decision or judgment on a situation based on information from two or more things in a, a, in a text or clues. Here are ways to draw a conclusion. One, think about your own experiences. Two, think about what you already know. Three, use clues you see or read from the text. Four, think about how the character feels. Five, think about what the character says. Six, think about the character's actions. And seven, think about how the character handles situations. So let's look at some examples of how to draw a conclusion. These are in our third grade reading review workbook. Again, they are available for purchase in our store. This excerpt is from The Toys for All Ages. Read this selection, read this sentence from the selection. In fact, a standard size Lego brick made today can be attached to any other Lego brick made since 1958. Wow. What can the reader conclude about Lego products from this sentence? A. People have shared Lego sets with friends and family for a long time. B, the basic design of the Lego has stayed the same. C, Lego toys made of plastic last longer than those made of wood. D, old Chris Christensen believed in making Lego toys that were fun and entertaining. So let's look at the sentence again. It says, in fact, a standard size Lego brick made today get, can be attached to any other Lego brick made since 1958. So again, let's look at our answer choices. A, people have shared Lego sets with friends and families for a long time. Well, in the sentence, it really doesn't mention friends and family. B, the basic design of the Lego has stayed the same. Yes, that's potentially the right answer because again, it says that Lego bricks that are made today can be attached to Lego bricks made since 1958. So if you find some Legos from 1958 and you have some for present day, they can attach to each other, okay? So B is definitely potentially the right answer. C, Lego toys made of plastic last longer than those made of wood. Well, in the sentence, it doesn't talk about Legos that are made of plastic and wood. So no to C. And D, old Kirk Christensen believed in making Lego toys that were fun and entertaining. Although yes, Legos are fun and entertaining, that's not what the sentence talked about. So after going through all of our answer choices, the best answer is B. The basic design of the Lego has stayed the same. And that's again how you draw a conclusion. Let's look at another example. This excerpt is from Accidental Toy. James Wright was an engineer working in the General Electric Laboratories in New Haven, Connecticut in the 1940s. 
The United States faced a shortage of natural rubber, so the U.S. government asked GE and other companies to develop artificial rubber for military uses. One day at work, Wright added boric acid to silicone oil. The combination produced an interesting goo. The material bounced higher than rubber and was more stretchable. And the gooey, stretchy material would even take an imprint of ink images it was pressed on. So, from the information based in the presented in the paragraph, a reader can conclude that Wright's invention A cost more to make than the government was willing to pay, B required chemicals that were difficult to get, C displayed characteristics that he did not expect, D was the reason he was offered a job in the laboratory. So our hint for this, for the correct answer choice is one day at work, Wright added boric acid to silicone oil. The combination produced an interesting goo. So again, looking at our answer choices and think about something that you find interesting, okay? A, Again, the answer choices cost more to make than the government was willing to pay. Well, no, in our paragraph, that's not something the that was mentioned. It was that General Electric was one of the companies the government asked to make for a replacement for rubber. Okay, so no, no to A, B, required chemicals that were difficult to get. No, in our paragraph, it didn't say that the the ingredients or the items that Wright used were difficult to get. So no to B, C displayed characteristics that he did not expect. So the fact that it says when Wright added boric acid to silicone oil, the combination produced an interesting goo. Well, again, Interesting means it's not something, you know, you find something interesting. Maybe it's something you didn't expect. So C could potentially be the right answer. D was the reason he was offered a job in the laboratory. Well, in our paragraph, Wright was already working in GE's laboratory. So after going through all of the answer choices, we can conclude that from the information presented in the paragraph, a reader can conclude that Wright's invention displayed characteristics that he did not expect. And that is a part one of reviewing drawing conclusions. Again, if you need a tutor, we offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring. And also we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.